Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, your mayor, Robert Sullivan, and I want to again welcome you to uh, the television uh, show that, uh, that I do as mayor. It's called Ah Brockton, and this is episode number seven. And as you know, uh, that's exactly what the title means, Ah Brockton. We're all in this together. We're dealing right now uh, with COVID, uh, and I hope you're all doing well and you're staying safe. Uh, but it's a challenging time. It's a challenging time physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, without question. So as I've done in the past, I've had a different variety of, of guests come on the show to give information and uh, really important um, ideas and, and uh, numbers uh, and statistics and metrics, uh, depending on if it was the Board of Health or if it was uh, you know police and fire. But today, I have uh, Cindy Pentegas from Again, NeighborWorks, I thank you. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it, Cindy. And uh, for those that don't know um, what, uh, what we're gonna be talking about today is of course, Brockton has a high number of people renting, right? Uh, so rental assistance in light of COVID is extremely important, extremely important. And Cindy and her co colleague, uh, Rob Corley, have been doing yeoman's work, diligently helping residents. Uh, just to let you know, uh, in terms of the RAF program and financial assistance. So um, CDBG is federal money, Community Development Block Grant that the City of Brockton gets. And then the Brockton Redevelopment Authority, the BRA and the Executive Director Rob Jenkins over there is working uh, in, in partnership hand in hand with Cindy and Rob at NeighborWorks uh, in terms of dollars that are gonna be used and dedicated for rental assistance. Cindy, welcome to the show. Thank you for having Thanks. me. Thanks, no, this is great. Thank you for being here. So our goal with NeighborWorks, we're passionate about stabilizing communities through creating stable residents. And right now with the COVID crisis, the way that we can do that is to offer emergency assistance. Um, for renters, They, you know, it could be covering their back rent, future rent, um, utility, utility bills, um, even mortgage mortgage holders can also apply as well. This is exciting. They can help with mortgages. So the way the program works. Um, what does have, RAFT even mean? People keep saying RAFT, RAFT. Can you just give a breakdown? Sure. Resol residential assistance for, now you stumped That's me. okay. <laughs> it's for, for, yes, it's, and it's, it's, helping, it's helping the tenants, it's helping the landlords in terms of that. Uh, but the RAFT program is something that you, uh, and NeighborWorks are charged to do right now. Um, and again, could you just kind of talk about the process and the procedure? Sure. So the RAFT is a state program. So there's, you know, a whole um, set of rules and regulations that we have to follow from the state level. And the way that people can apply for RAFT is just going straight to our website, which it can be on the screen, nhsmass.org. They fill out a pre-application, and then they get triaged by a counselor to be able to see what what you know um, whether it's RAFT or Irma money or COVID money. Okay. So then they get referred to that. They can get up to four thousand dollars. Okay. Right now, and um, with the new money, there will be an additional um, four thousand that people that have a COVID crisis could also apply for. Okay. So RAFT is, is the state funding. And then we have the local program, which you alerted to with um, the BRA with Robert Jenkins. Yes. So that is for just for Brockton residents. That's right. So that program is a little bit, a little bit quicker and easier to get through because it's not state regulated. It's our local program. And so it still has some regulations, of course. Yes. But um, again, that, that application can be filled, it's up to $4,000 in assistance, and that would be for renters, homeowners as well. I think the important thing to, to point out on this is um, that we are not paying the residents the money directly. It goes to the mortgage company, it goes to the landlord or the utility company. Okay. And so that being said, we need, in both of these programs, we need the cooperation of the landlord. Yes. So that's been, a little bit of an extra layer that people don't understand. So that's gonna that's an important thing to, to note. For the local program, you can go to the BRA's website, Brockton Redevelopment Authority.com, and the link is there under COVID resources. Okay. Our website, nhsmass.org, under COVID resources, the link for the application is there as well. So I guess the question would be is is if you are a potential applicant, are you allowed to apply for both the four thousand and the four thousand? That's a great question. So 
what, I, what I'm doing is reaching out to everybody that's in the raft waiting room and letting them know about the local program. Excellent. If we can help them locally quicker than we can do that, if they still need assistance beyond the, the local money, I will simultaneously put in a raft application. Oh, excellent. So it's based on need. Many people, the local program solves it, and then we can take them out of the raft waiting room, and it opens it up for someone else. You know? So there's definitely the opportunity um, to, to streamline it, um, to work, and, and you could, in essence, if you needed it, you could apply for both. Yes. Um, but the quicker one is the local one, which is the neighbor works work with the BRA, mm -hmm. and that's money, again, from the federal government, the CDBG okay. money. Uh, and there was originally a um, dollar amount of $250,000 from the local level that was forwarded to NeighborWorks. Um, and then we have some additional funds uh, of 900000 that just came in. It's the second tier of the CDBG money. Right. Um, and again, the BRA and my office will be working with you uh, to figure out out of that 900 how much would go to, and again, we're not sure yet, but we're working. It's still being fluid. Um, and then also, uh, as you know, Cindy, we've talked about it. There is the opportunity that the city of Brockton could also um, pay uh, towards some rental assistance and then get seek reimbursement under the Federal CARES Act, mm -hmm. which is being administered by the county, Plymouth County. So mm -hmm. there's a lot in motion right yeah. now. Um, if someone um, needed to uh, reach out to you or contact you, what, what's the best way to, to reach out to you or to NeighborWorks? Right, so our website, absolutely on the front page under the COVID-19 COVID resources there's the links there for the applications and um and also i can put my my uh, contact information as well if anybody comes into the mayor's office and is asking about these programs you can absolutely direct them to myself and i'd be happy to to see what's you know what's the best program no that's excellent you've been a wonderful partner very responsive working you you and rob corley have spoken to our health equity task force to inform about the raft program rental assistance uh, working, of course, diligently with the BRA. Um, tell us a little bit about your background. How long have you been with NeighborWorks? What's some of your background that the, the viewers can... Sure. So I've been with NeighborWorks uh, for 10 years now. I was hired for the foreclosure crisis. Mm. Back then, they had an um, emergency um, homeowner program back then to help, to help people that had gotten behind on the mortgage. And um, so I was only hired temporarily. <laughs> 10 years later, right? <laughs> So I love my job. I Great. love serving the community, and it's something that's close to my heart. Brockton has been, um, I've been a Brockton homeowner for 35 years. Thank you. And, Thank you. And um, I'm so privileged to be able to help the community in this way. It's, it's um, dear to my heart for sure. And where is NeighborWorks located if people don't know? Where's your office? So we have, um, in our local Brockton office, we're inside the Harbor One Bank on Legion Parkway. Mm -hmm. So they give us uh, free office space in there. Of course, we're not seeing customers in person at the moment. Right. But if you were to go into the bank, you could grab my business card. The guard there, they have a, uh, or the manager, they have yep. a desk right there. So if anybody's in that area and they need, you know, needed a business card, they could go into the bank. That's excellent. So again, it's on Legion Parkway, at the Harbor One on Legion Parkway. That's where Cindy is, Rob Corley, NeighborWorks. Um, you know, uh, it's, 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 it's interesting time right now because of COVID. Of course, as we speak and we film this, we're in a red classification. Oh. We've spiked up from yellow to red. There's 63 municipalities in Massachusetts right now that are in a red classification. So we need to continue to be diligent, vigilant, wear our masks, social distance, you know, wash your hands no less than 20 seconds. We know what we need to do. We need to adhere to the medical standards. But because of COVID, people are hurting financially. So what Cindy has been offering today, this information is extremely important. It really is. And again, if, if you need any information from my office, the uh, phone number at City Hall is 508-580-7123. 580-7123, to 430 is when we're open. Uh, I'm there a lot longer because that's part of the job and I, and I love the job. But um, I also just wanted to um, comment. You said you came, it was part-time 10 years ago to deal with the foreclosure. And unfortunately right now, um, you know, the ev eviction moratorium by the governor hasn't been extended. Mm -hmm. I know that I've had conversations with the state delegation and the folks on Beacon Hill, they're considering that. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of if you are not a, a tenant, okay, you don't pay rent, mm -hmm. and you're behind on your mortgage, I know you, you touched upon it, could they 
contact? Could someone, a homeowner, contact you to talk about these programs Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. So um, again, on our website, we have um, links to the foreclosure prevention counselors. We have a whole counseling staff that, that are dedicated to help home, homeowners understand these changing rules and laws and their rights as Massachusetts mortgage holders. Um, next week, we are holding a webinar. Oh, good. Next Thursday at 10 a.m. Um, specifically on the eviction moratorium ending and what's you know what the changes are. So um, we we are keeping abreast of these things and we have um, a legal panel panel with legal experts that will speak to that. And if someone wanted to attend the webinar, could they find it on your website? The information. Uh, you know, I'll have to ask because okay. I, I know that there's a, a limit to the number of attendees. Okay. So, yeah, we're keep we're inviting at the. Um, the local, like the counselor, yes. the local counselors, yes. and so we want to get the information at the higher level in communities. And we can streamline it out, a absolutely no. So, so um, We will provide information for sure excellent. to um, your office, but our counselors can definitely um, help people understand, for example, should they be applying for emergency assistance to pay the mortgage or should they be contacting their lender? to get a forbearance right right so there's rules in place for massachusetts um you know uh mortgage holders right now there are absolutely so, absolutely so helping people understand those things you know is important you just hit it on the head it's about helping people and i want to thank you uh you 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 took the time out of your busy schedule to come here today at bca to film this i really truly appreciate it uh, believe it or not, uh, our time has almost expired. So I want to just thank you, Cindy. I want to thank uh, Rob Corley, your colleague, your teammate at NeighborWorks uh, for everything you're doing and continue to do right now. Um, so again, my name is Robert Sullivan, and it really is an honor and a privilege to be the mayor of the city of Brockton. And we just have to continue our efforts together. The key word is working together in collaboration. And if you need any information, again, from what Cindy just shared with us about the RAF program, rental assistance, please go onto those websites. Um, you could also go onto the BRA website. You could contact the mayor's office. Uh, we are here, uh, ready, willing, and able to work with you and work for you. We're in the people business. That's what it's all about. So again, thank you, Cindy. And thank I you, Mayor, for, for your trust in us in administering these funds. Absolutely. No, no, you, you're, uh, you guys are doing an excellent job. So we got to keep going, keep moving. Uh, and again, I just want to thank you for watching our Brockton. Uh, again, my, my guest today has been Cindy Pendergast from uh, NeighborWorks. I'll be shooting uh, another episode. My eighth episode will be coming soon, and I'll have a surprise guest at that time. Again, more information for each and every one of you. So be well, stay safe, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you so much.